a hole in the shelf on this ranch? You guys know what that means. We got a new RC. Does he get those wonderful toys? I'm having one of those kind of days, guys. I have a feeling that this is going to be a good one because this bad boy just arrived on the doorstep and there has been so much hype about this RC, uh, I had to get one. Uh, this is the new RC four-wheel drive Miller Motorsports Pro Rock Racer RTR. This thing is outrageous. It can go from two-wheel drive to four-wheel drive, locking differentials to speed, and it is a scale rock racer. Uh, guys, I have been waiting uh, to have a great um, rock racer similar to the Bomber. You guys know I love my Bomber. That is one of my favorite RCs, and now we have this. I think it's only going to complement the collection. So let's not delay. Let's get into this bad boy. As you can see, factory sealed. So you guys are going to see what uh, my reaction is. I normally don't do these unboxings inside, but it is really windy outside. So we will do our best to wrestle this RC out of its box here. All right. Almost there. Okay. Let's take a look. What do we have? Oh my gosh. There it is, guys. There it is. All right. Let me wrestle this thing out of here and let's take a look at this box. A little bit bigger than I thought, guys. Wow. Let's just put it up like that. Wow, look at this thing. This is just outrageous. I really love the scale, and I think we've got 2.2 uh, tires on here. Let's take a look at the features. Let's see here. We've got contoured scale chassis, molded Lexan panels. This thing, look at this, so scaled. The fuel cells, the motor, look at that transmission. It looks like we've got a brushless setup in here. And it looks like we've got a Dumbo RC radio, which just happens to be my favorite one to use. It's, this is just set up almost too good. I hope that it lives up to the hype. So they definitely have the 2.2 tires. It looks like they have dual uh, springs there. Wow, guys, check this thing out. All right, let's crack into this thing and take a look at it for real. All right, are you guys ready for this? I'm ready for this. Let's take a look here. Oh, it's so exciting. A new RC. Oh, look at this. Incredible packaging, guys. Let's pull the first thing out. Looks like we've got some batteries. We've got, uh, wow, that has to be the thickest owner's manual I have ever seen on an RC. Looks like we got some cool RC four wheel drive stickers. Very cool. Now, you guys know that this is a JD model uh, rebranded as an RC four-wheel drive. I think that they had a lot of input into it, but uh, there were two uh, makers into this RC. All right. Take out our controller. Okay, so that is, that is in there. Let's take this thing off. Very well packaged. 
Well, I guess we'll just take it right out here. Is it gonna be that easy? All right, we've got it. All right. It's a chassis tied down. Oh, there we go. Stuck a little bit. Let's take a look at this. Wow. Very cool detail. All the sponsors. Very scale, even a fuel tube. Look at that, guys. Wow. Mirrors that fold out. There's your on and off switch. Incredible. Wow. Let's take a look here. Very light shocks super light and i heard that they only had a little drop of fluid from the factory and i was told that that is the way it's supposed to be with these shocks so if you guys are wanting to uh, have oil filled shocks you might want to consider some aftermarket options or uh stick with these guys look at that just limiting straps do you guys see that in there incredible now, both of the bump stocks there are intact and a very cool addition. Uh, we will be uh, gluing those up and uh, we'll be gluing a couple other things on here to make sure uh, we don't lose anything on the trail. Let's take a look underneath. Wow. Very, oh, look at that skid plate. Very cool. Looks like we've got some very beefy drive shafts and very beefy axles. Look at that. Very cool. One of the absolute coolest crawlers I have seen. Wow. I bet it's going to take a lot to get down to the motor of this. Uh, with this much uh, scale, it's really just like the Bahamar. You have a lot of screws uh, to get down to um, the meat and potatoes of everything. But this has a three servo uh, setup. One controls the two-wheel drive to four-wheel drive. I know that is outrageous. The first crawler I have ever owned, uh, or ever seen for that matter, that's able to go from two-wheel to four-wheel drive. It also has the ability to lock in the differentials, and it has a two-speed transmission. That hits all the bells for me. I am super excited about this. I think that if it lives up to... Wow, look, those tires are just very grippy and very nice i like it as you can see these tires are jd model just like uh, we were saying so this is a just it, it it appears to hit every every bell every bar look at this it's got lots of wheel travel and then you've got these limiting straps right here very scale, very cool. I think uh, this is going to make for some really cool videos. I love the scale solid axles. And uh, I know that this is a rock racer, but chances are I'm probably going to use this more as a crawler just like I use my bomber. I actually gear it down quite a bit because I don't necessarily uh, race over rocks, but I do like to crawl over rocks. 
Um, here in the Ozarks, we have some of the best crawling <laughs> uh, you have ever seen. So this is just really cool. Now, I, I know that uh, the battery, let's see here, let's take a look on this side. Uh, the battery goes right in here. So it looks like uh, we've got to pull this pin here. And does it come out? We have another one. Oh, we have another pin. There we are. And there's our hookup. So looks like a XT, is it XT60 or XT90? I'm not sure. I do have batteries that'll work on this, but this is a slightly uh, smaller uh, battery box than what we're used to. So um, you, not all your batteries will fit in this. Uh, it looks like this opening is gonna require uh, just a slightly different battery. Um, let's see. Uh, let's see what'll fit it. Let's see here. We'll go over to uh, the batteries here. All right, so this is your uh, basic uh, 3S. Let's, let's see if that fits in there. Uh, that just fits. You can put the, the wires and everything. It's still kind of a tight fit, but it will work. Um, Here's your uh, pretty common use Z. Let's see if that'll fit in there. See, this hard pack will not fit. It's just uh, it's just a little bit too wide. So it looks like uh, you might be using soft packs or smaller uh, hard packs on this uh, this model here. But uh, that's no worries. We will have something uh, for this, probably dedicated battery uh, of some kind. So that's not uh, unusual for, um, for me, at least. Um, I have a, a lot of RCs here on the ranch and we do have a lot of specialized batteries. So there you have it. That's the battery. Gosh, these, these wheels are so grippy. They're actually squeaking right here on my desk. So these things are just, they have, they're so sticky. And that suspension, I can, I can just see it if it was racing over the rocks. Just up and down. Wow. This thing... Look at this. Incredible, incredible detail. Look at that. I think RC four wheel drive hit it out of the park with this one. And uh, time will tell what happens. Uh, parts availability, uh, will this hold up under uh, the rocks? I mean, anytime you put racer and have a brushless system in an RC. I mean, you're really putting uh, things at risk because I mean, that's what this is. This is going to be racing over the rocks. So I'm hoping that uh, the, the axles, they look really solid guys. Uh, I do have one concern. It looks like um, their diff lock is a little bit exposed. Um, it's uh, right out in the open, just like most JD models are, but I would probably look for possibly a skid plate here uh, to protect um, that very sensitive area. As you can see, you see this arm right here. Uh, this I can see getting hung up on the rocks. Uh, so I think we're gonna either buy an aftermarket skid plate or possibly come up with one of our own. Um, I think uh, it will only complement uh, these already very cool skid plates. Well, what do you guys think? 
Comment down below, do you think RC four wheel drive hit it out of the park with this one? What do you guys think I should be doing with this? Do you think I should keep it stock? Do you think I should mod it? Oh gosh, decisions, decisions. This is really a tough one. I mod just about everything. I very rarely have a stock RC, but there's a little part of me that, that wants to keep this stock. And I'm not really sure why. But uh, maybe that might change here in the future, but wow, what an RC. This thing is just great. I really love the front look of this. Um, it, there is a, a little bit of discolor in between these two, but there is a difference in the Lexan and plastic uh, injection molding, and it's really hard to get those just right, but I don't think that it's off enough to make a difference in the purchase. It, it's not bothering me, and I'm usually a real stickler about that kind of thing. So let's take a look at this front. Pretty standard. This is these rods feel pretty. These links feel pretty beefy. Um, everything looks pretty beefed up here. I think this is going to be a winner, guys. And um, I, I just I had to uh, I had to have this one. There was a lot of talk. There was a lot of hype about it. And uh, and just recently there has been uh, some some talk of. Uh, problems and, and such as the, the discoloration right there and I know that a lot of people have been complaining about these um, these basically these bump stocks for the axle these little rubber pieces are coming off so I would highly recommend putting a little dab of glue or uh, maybe some Loctite on there to keep those uh, on so, but uh, really, I haven't heard of any catastrophes or major breakdowns. Like I said, this is a JD model and uh, RC four-wheel drive combination. And JD model RCs are absolutely great. As you guys know, my RC four-wheel drive Overland, which is a JD model as well, is one of my favorite cars. And that thing pulls a ton of weight and I have not broken one part on it and I believe I've got somewhere around 50 miles and they're all hard miles so all my luck with RC four-wheel drive has been good up to this point um, I know that there's a lot uh, um, of opinions about this but this thing looks like a winner to me and I can't wait to get out and try this thing on King of the Mountain and Radioactive Rockies. We have a lot of new terrain to cover. Thank you guys for being here. If this is your first time on the channel, welcome to the Radioactive RC family. We do build RC monsters, but occasionally we like to keep and buy a normal store-bought RTR RC. So, my first RC four-wheel drive, guys. We will see you radio heads on the next one.